Hello everyone, and welcome back to Half-Life 2 Episode 2. So, yes, I guess... Uh, is everything okay? Is Gordon alright? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. Bye, Eli. Is that it? The Freeman must follow. Okay. I'll follow your lead. Yes, whoa. Forward. Is this the same transmission that we saw before? If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Is that an honor? For the help. I mean, not to be rude. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Who knows? So she was here and then she left? Maybe she knows something that we don't. It seems like it. Okay. But at least now we were able to get them the data packet, so they can extract whatever they need to from there, and hopefully that'll give us a hint as to what's going on with Dr. Mossman. It kind of sucks that we don't get to see her. I wasn't the biggest fan of her in Half-Life 2. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. Should never have let him go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. Another transmission? <gasps> it's the Borealis. Good. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> the Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. What is it? Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. You believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Would you like me to talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, they'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going out. Dad! Now, Eli, the only... Worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. Not again. I can't let it happen again. Not another black person. What? Dad. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay, just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, did you keep an eye on him? Yeah. We're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. 
What just happened? Both of you like had a weird, a weird little thing happen at the same time. Unforeseen consequences. Yeah. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when you whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. You know about G-Man? When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. Wait. Oh, I went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God. Damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon. There's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Uh, Here you go. That's a big mug. Can I get one of those? Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are. Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you're finished, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman. I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me. Quickly. What the fuck does that mean? I'll catch up with you in a bit. No, but I want story time! Wait, you just gave me so much information to process. You can't just ask me to follow him? No, I refuse. I'm okay. I was gonna go the opposite way. Since I can't verbally say I refuse, just to show how much I don't want to do this. I'm just going to go into a corner here and geek out for a second. First of all, they're using Aperture Science technology. They're trying to use some sort of, like, stuff that was on a ship in order to take out the Combine. So they are- it is all tied together. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy. Because, like, you know, in Portal 1 they had that uh, song at the end that GLaDOS sings about, you know, Maybe you could get help from Black Mesa. That was a joke, haha, fat chance. Uh, so like, you know, there was kind of like a little nod to Black Mesa there. So I was hoping this game would have a nod to Portal to Aperture Science, and they did. So they're gonna use the technology if we can get there. They're gonna use the technology that's on that ship to hopefully wipe out the Combine, I guess. So that was kind of surprising, but also <laughs> really cool. And then, like, Eli knows about G-Man too? Is that why they both had that little moment? You know, where they kind of got a little woozy? They got a little dizzy? Because G-Man was nearby? I don't know. Whenever they talk about G-Man, they get a little, a little, you know? They get a little wibbly wobbly. Which I'm surprised Eli knows about uh, G-Man as well. There was something else too. Oh, the fact that G-Man is the one who got the crystal, who gave Black Mesa the crystal that started all this back at the lab. Like at the beginning of Half-Life or Black Mesa, depending on which one you play, you have to put a crystal into like a thingy. <laughs> I don't know the scientific term, but you put a crystal into a thingy. And if we hadn't done that, then there would have been no way for the Combine and for the aliens on Zen to reach Earth. Right? So he started all this? What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's a lot of information to process all at once. So, why? Why did he give him the crystal that started all this? I don't know. Freeman, Hopefully they're... Striders are coming. Of course. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. Uh-huh. I forgot who we were with for a second because I was too busy geeking out. What are these? Yeah. Are destroyed. You proved yourself <laughs> capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. Uh huh. We call it the Magnuson device. Of course. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Uh huh. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now what it is is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. Ooh. From point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but, well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears out that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Okay. Cool. So I'm getting sticky bombs. I refuse to call them. 
This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Whoa. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. Sticky the bombs. Safety of the base. These devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Go ahead and take the device out of the dispenser. Now you'll want to use your gravity gun to throw it. Are you done? I just want to admire real quick. You guys taxidermied a tripod? That couldn't have been easy. Well done. Okay. So I grab the sticky bomb. I saw the doodles. Difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Okay. I refuse to call them whatever you're calling them, the Magnuson device or whatever. I'm just gonna call them sticky bombs. But I saw the drawings. Well. Try it now. I was able to get the cliff notes. You just grab one, aim, shoot, and fire. Okay. I do wish there was like a, a thingy. Whoops. Well, a home run. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? Shut up. I'd like to see you do it. Okay. I do wish there was like a thingy thingy. I'm trying to think of what the term would be. Like there's a specific kind of reticle that you get sometimes, like especially in games where there's archery. And it has like the three different lines that show like if you're shooting from a far distance, this will this is where it'll land. If you're shooting from like a semi far distance, this is where it'll land. I kind of wish for the gravity gun, the reticle change to that. There we go. But we'll make do. Where'd it land? I don't see where it landed. Where'd it land? Uh oh. Did I break everything? I can't see where it landed. I think it's behind the gun. Can I get another one? Oh no, I think I may have broken the game. Because I can't shoot it. I think I may have to reload. I mean, I have to reload my gun, but I also might have to reload uh, a previous save. Because I don't think I can shoot it. Nope, there we go. Okay, good. Magnificent device, isn't it? Sure. Right over here when you are ready to head okay, I do want to try one more time. Just to get a feel of like how exactly to measure the distance. So the body is there. So if I'm just a little bit above it, yeah, that hits. Okay, I just have to make sure I fire it in a spot that I can actually hit. Okay, noted. It's a little tricky, but I think I get it. Had enough? Yep. Car is fueled and ready to go. Now, Okey dokey. Whoops. Has its own dispenser port. So you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. Of course. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, <sighs> if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. How much of a petty bitch are you? Oh my god. <laughs> are you serious? Jeez Louise. Okay, just get me the fuck away from him. Ooh, and into the arms of the RPG, or I guess the RPG is in my arms. Either way, I am so happy to see that I get an RPG. Oh, how I missed you. Am I gonna have to use you against the tripods too? Okay, I'll be there in one second. Let me just collect my stuff. Let me just collect my shit. Okay, I'm all shitted up. What's up? Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Nifty. I like it. Does it? I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. Oh, I like that. No need to thank me. You're my hero. <laughs> now check this map. We're okay. Right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. If I could, I would so make out with you right now. Because you gave me a freaking, uh, like, locator for my car. 
Oh, I can finally find my car. You have no idea how often I lose this thing. Okay. But does this, uh, like, create more Magnuson balls? Does this make more sticky bombs? Or does it just make one and you can take it with you in case, like, you need a, you know, a mulligan? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm more excited about the fact I have, like, a homing beacon on the car, so now I can finally find it when I need it. But still, I'd also appreciate the sticky bomb holder. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for the directions. I'll just keep heading straight forward, I guess. We'll just head straight forward and then hopefully eventually we'll see something that resembles a sawmill. Okay, so we're in the clear for now. Should I get familiar with the area? Maybe, possibly. Oh, hey, I found the sawmill. What's up, dudes? So what's the plan? Okay. So they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. <laughs> We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. A dozen? If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, Recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Of course. Now, what I want you to Attention. do... Attention! Uh-oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider oh, approaching oh. from the cranes. Guy. Defensive positions, go! Okay. I have a plan. Kind of. We'll see if it actually pans out. But I'm assuming I can use these RPGs on the hunters. If I could aim, well... I guess that's not going to go according to plan. There we go. But I should be able- Did that not take you out? That's why I was hoping to use the RPGs on the hunters, because I was hoping one RPG would be able to take them out. But I guess not. But I'm hoping I can use the RPGs on the hunters, and then I can use the sticky bombs on the tripods? Whoa! Hot dang. Uh, we're at the sawmill? Oh boy. Okay. No, am I out of RPG? God dang, I'm already out of RPG ammo. By any chance, do you guys have any RPG ammo to spare? Uh, well, I guess not anymore. Okay. Oh no, they took out the sticky bomb maker. God dang it. Now where am I supposed to go to get sticky bombs? I'm all out. All right, well, for lack of a better option, I'm just gonna head out. I'm sure you have this though. Uh, I'll be back in a little bit or maybe never again, who knows? All I know is I need more supplies, and it looks like there's some here, so don't mind if I do. I'm sure you guys have that uh, tripod and the hunter is all locked down. Yeah, yeah? Or is that a hunter behind me that I hear? That's a hunter behind me, I hear. Boy, howdy, is that a hunter? Hey, listen, listen, listen. Where do you think you're going? No, get back here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, I had something to say. Don't be rude. Don't walk away from me when I'm trying to say something to you. Come back here. Please? It's very important that you listen to what I have to say. I'm not stalling for time. I genuinely have something I need to tell you. Come here. You make a great hood ornament. That's what I had to tell you. Okay. I know, you're upset. I killed your hunter buddy. Boo hoo. Come here. You're about to get the same treatment. Nope. There we go. Okay. Ooh, supplies. Yeah, eat it. Do I? It looks like are with the They're in packs. You don't say. I noticed that kind of pattern was happening, but I didn't want to, you know, jump to conclusions and decide that's probably the case. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay, where's the water tower? I greatly appreciate that. I'm going to use all of it. <laughs> Trust me, I'll put it to good use. Where's the water tower? Somewhere over here? Okay, cool. You might want to look out. Not gonna lie, I'm not the best when it comes to driving this thing. You know, the brakes are a little iffy. And the turning radius even more so. <laughs> sometimes it turns on a dime, sometimes it turns on, you know, a log. You know, it's not always the most responsive. No, no, no. Don't you start doing that. Don't you hurt the car. I mean, don't hurt me, more importantly, but also please don't hurt my car. I need it. I need it to run all of you over. God damn it. Okay. Hey, you know what? If he could move, 
if you could if you could move away from the tree line, that would be spectacular. Because then maybe I actually have a chance of running you over. Come here. You want to play bumper cars? I know you don't have a car, but your body works just as well. <laughs> There we go. Okay, this is a strat, man. This is a tactic. Just run over all of them. No, now hold on. I'm a little busy. Can you guys, like, slow down the, the pace a little bit? Slow your roll? There we go. I'm still trying to take care of one of the other striders. It's like college assignments. They're stacking up too quickly. I mean, I'm very good about my assignments. I was always... I always stayed on top of my assignments. Anyways, don't know where you would get the idea that I didn't. Anyways, <laughs> where's the other Strider? Oh, I should have grabbed a Magnuson. I should have grabbed a Sticky Bomb. They said over by the cranes. That looks like a crane right there. Uh, so let me stop by our favorite locale. Our favorite location. And grab a Sticky Bomb real quick. Here we go. We're here. You have to admit, at least I can get from point A to point B pretty quickly. Come on. You're cutting in on my time. I'm definitely not doing a speed run, but at the same time. The longer it takes to grab a sticky bomb, the longer it's going to take me to kill one of these tripods. And probably the hunters as well. Yeah, you distract them, and I'll hit them. Here comes the bang! Oh! Well, that's not the bang I had in mind. <laughs> I meant you were going to have to deal with it. Not the other way around. I wasn't supposed to deal with the bang. You were supposed to deal with the bang. Okay, hey, do you mind? Do you mind? Come on, just stay there. Just stay still. Ugh, damn it. Come on. You don't want me to run you over? Why not? It's an experience for once in a lifetime. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Because you die afterwards, but at the same time, don't you want to find out what it's like? Just once. Okay, you only get once. Okay. Can you slow down, please? This is also very much like real life. There we go. Me being five foot nothing, and everyone I know being six foot something. It's really hard to keep up with them sometimes. Okay. Are we good? Are there any more tripods? Okay. That works for me. No, the dude died. Dude, I was so fond of you for the 0.5 seconds that I knew you. <laughs> It's usually how it goes, though. Another strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill. Yeah, what used to be. Okay. Let's hop to it. I think I already hear one of the hunters. Here we go. No, my spot! God dang it, that was like the best spot around! You dick. You know, I don't know if it should be a good thing or a bad thing. Like, I don't know if I should be proud of myself or what, but I'm starting to get really good <laughs> at hitting the hunters with the car. Is it probably concerning? Little bit. Am I getting a little bit too good at vehicular manslaughter? Absolutely. But at the same time, if it works, it works. Okay. I mean, does it count as vehicular manslaughter if I'm not killing a human? I guess so. Either way. <laughs> this car is definitely proving its worth. We've taken down quite a few. But if we're taking down literally a dozen, we still have quite a few left to go. Like, I'm not sure if they were serious when they said that there was like 12 left. Is this the base right here? Oh, dang. <laughs> that one got kind of close. Uh, like, I don't know if they literally mean 12 when they say a dozen. But I think we've had to have taken out like at least six by now. So we're like halfway done at the very least. And it seems like we're getting a moment's respite. So we're doing okay. Ah, uh, but at the same time, I guess we could be doing better. I should have saved that one spot before I went kablooey and kaboomy. But it's fine. There's still this spot. If they destroy all the areas, except for the ones at the base, I'll be concerned. Because basically that means we're just going to have to fall back to the base. And try to fend them off there. But yeah. For now, it seems like all is calm. Probably the calm before the storm. Yep, sure enough. Do you have hunters with you? It's been a while since I hit one with my car. I had a pretty good ratio going on. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, you're on the move. Hey, now hold on, now hold on, now hold on. Why are you so speedy? Wait, 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 wait. Don't go where I think you're going. Don't go where I think you're going. Don't you go and blow up that spot, please. Please, please don't make what I just said come to fruition. Please. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Where are you going? No, don't do it. Damn it. 
You dick. No, you dick! You absolute dick bag! No, you destroyed that spot and now there's no sticky bombs there. And now I gotta go all the way back to the base. Oh, my worst fears are becoming reality. I hate it. I hate when my worst fears become reality. God damn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So long as it's the only one, it's fine. If they start ganging up on us and tag teaming us, then I'm gonna be concerned. But so long as there's only one, it should be fine. No, what happened? Did you guys shoot it off, you dicks? You absolute dicks. I think they shot off the sticky bomb. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, well, we might be a wee bit screwed then. No, don't concentrate on the tripod. Don't concentrate on that. Concentrate on the hunters. God damn it. Can you guys please concentrate on the hunters? Please? You can't destroy the tripod. Only I can destroy the tripod with this. I'm the only one who can kill the tripod with a sticky bomb. I need you guys to kill the hunter. Please? <sighs> why are they not shooting at the hunters? They can't kill the tripod. I don't know why they're trying to take out the tripod. If they want to help, they could take out the hunters and I'll concentrate on the tripods. Where am I? How far back am I? Is this back when everything was calm, cool, and collected? I think so. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> At least I didn't get, you know, teleported all the way back to the beginning. It is personal. It's been personal. All right, we make our stand here. God damn it. <laughs> no, that was not the moment to mess up. God dang it. Get back here. There we go. Jeez Louise, that Strider was on a mission. I hate it. Oh, I hate when they're on a mission. I like it much better when they just take the calm, casual approach. Come here, you. Come here, you. There we go. Your friend's up next. At least this time. Oh! Uh oh. Of course. Huh, I would expect nothing less. All right, well, in that case, I guess I'll gear up and uh, I guess I'll meet you guys once the fun begins. So I'll be right back. All right, so where are we starting off? Where's the first set? Got it. Okay, luckily we're close. Whoops, now if only I knew how to turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay, well, I wish you had said that before I left the sawmill. That would have been nice. Um, do I have RPG ammo? I do. Oh, that's perfect. I have just the thing for you then. Did that hit? I think that hit. I hope that hit. I'll be there in a second. Y'all will just have to deal. God damn it. Do I have anything powerful? Is the Tau Cannon powerful? I hope so. I guess we're about to find out. Tau Cannon? If you want to help, thank you. I was about to say, if you want to get better at shooting, that'd be great. If you want to suddenly become more powerful, I would not complain. Okay. I'm stressed. There's like multiple now. I think there are three. So we got to take this out quick and then go meet up with the other ones. Okay. For a second, I thought I already had the gravity gun out because the Tau Cannon looks like the gravity gun a little bit. Come here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Where's the other one? There was one at the water tower, right? Actually, there was one by the sawmill, which I think I hear that one. Uh, let's do this one first. Are you by yourself or do you have hunters? You're by yourself, you say? Well, in that case, let me go check the other one and see if they have hunters. Like, I want to take care of the hunters. The hunters are my main priority. God damn it. Why did you start listing to the left? Back up. Back up. Back up. Why won't you back up? This dang car. I guess, to be fair, I have been hitting hunters with it, but still. Okay, hey, not to be picky, but could you, god dang it, they're getting smart. They're learning. Do they have like a hive mind that they can learn? Like the other ones keep getting hit by cars, so now they know to avoid the car. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I can't fucking move. Where are you? Uh, I don't have time for this. I gotta go get the hunters or the striders. I'm getting their names mixed up now. Why can I not turn around? Hell if I know. I need to take care of these striders before they get to the base. Okay, fine. If I can't go that way, I'll go this way. What's hitting me now? What's hitting me now? Is that still from the same hunter? I hope so. Is there like another hunter behind me that I missed? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, no! 
Well, y'all will have to deal because I'm dead. So where are you going to load me? Where are you going to load me, huh? Where are you going to load me back at the beginning of these shenanigans? Yep, not even in my car. I'm just going to have to literally face these dudes down by myself. That's fine. Oh, this is going to be a headache and a half. I can already feel it. I'm working on it. Okay, if you guys could work on the hunters, I'd greatly appreciate it. I know you're not going to, but at the same time, I'd just like to throw that out there in case anyone would like to listen to me. God dang it. Like, this would be so much easier if the AI would just concentrate on the hunters. Because they keep blowing up my sticky bombs before I have a chance to shoot them. There we go. God, how that happened, I have no idea. I'm working on it. Again... Some teamwork would be greatly appreciated. No, god damn it. Please, just distract the hunters. That's all I'm asking. I can easily take care of the tripods if y'all will just distract the hunters. God dang it. And if I could aim. I'm working on it. You're not helping. Oh, shit. Please, no. We've got to be close. We've got to be close. This has got to be the last of a couple. Is that it? Are we done? Please tell me we're done. That has to be it. Oh my god, that was hell and a half. <laughs> like... Great, I'll be there in a second. I'm fucking tired. I'm fucking so angry right now. Like... So much about that was just absolutely infuriating. I mean, it's done, we did it, and now I never have to do it again, thank God. But also at the same time, like, the last, like, 20 minutes, I was just sitting there seething in anger. Because, like, it felt like a group project where, like, you know, everyone else, like, feels like they did something when literally all they did was put their names on the paper and you did all the work. Like, that's what it felt like, you know? Because, like, no one cared about the Striders or the Hunters until they got close to the base. And, like, they had so few people out there, like, trying to help outside of the base that, like, they immediately died. And it didn't feel like they were making that much of a difference. So that was infuriating. Like, I wish either there was more, like, Black Mesa members that were out there trying to help before the Striders and the Hunters got to the base. Or at least have the, you know, the Black Mesa members work on like killing the hunters you know like that was so infuriating <sighs> okay but we did it and it's done hey, what Freeman. shut up i hate all of you <laughs> y'all literally did nothing and like nothing pisses me off more okay thank you you're just making me feel like an asshole now which is fine i'm an asshole i'll admit it but y'all were assholes for not helping Uh huh. I wish I felt that way. <laughs> I wish I felt amazing right now. Right now, I just feel like I'm seething with anger. Hopefully, there's gonna be more story bits so I can just cool down for a second because that section infuriated the hell out of me. But at the same time, it did feel kind of like a final boss fight. So we have to be close to the end of the game. So I kind of just want to finish it all in one go. So that's what we're going to do. I'm I'm sorry if this episode is longer than usual, but at the same time. The portal's close to open, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be a time to stop it. Yeah, that basically just confirmed what I thought. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd rather finish all this in one episode rather than have the next episode be five minutes long and then ten minutes of me just rambling. So let's finish this. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I don't know about that. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. Yeah. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Huh. Wow. For a minute there, I thought you were going to get a hug. I mean, maybe. That seemed... The control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. That seemed like a lot of character growth for him. I'm impressed. At the same time, uh, we probably shouldn't expect too much out of him. I feel like if he hugged me, he may have exploded, you know? Or maybe he would have burst into flames. But still, I appreciate the thank you. Well, here we are again. 
here we are again. Seems like this is the situation for us a lot. You know, going into elevators, saving the world. While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. Ooh. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Pretty much. Are we gonna have a helicopter fight scene? Maybe. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Thanks. Shut up. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. Yeah. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Shut up. I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. Me? Hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Can I object? Just given, you know, my luck, I don't know if that's the best idea. You guys saw me push the crystal into the thing and start all of this. I don't know if I should. Get right on it. Okay, fine. In that case, I humbly accept. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was weird. That sounded like it was happening behind me. That's really cool. Oh, that's cool. It has the Black Mesa logo on it. Is this a good spot? Am I good here? Minus ten, nine, we are launching. Eight, seven, six, five, Steady. four, three, two, one. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we sure did. <laughs> Look at it go. Yes. Fantastic. Good work, y'all. Nicely done. Okay. I guess I won't stand there then. Now it is still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you gonna see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. One for the road. Okay, I'm good. I'm ready to go. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold on. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Aww. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Okay. Are we sure G-Man is our friend, though? I don't know if that's the correct term. Is it just gonna close? You said there was gonna be fireworks. Oh, look at Dog. Is it gonna explode? Whoa. It's gone! Y'all did good. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. Yeah. You didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. I guess he has his own mission. So now all that's left, now that the portal is closed, is just the remaining combine, right? We just have to destroy what's left of the forces here on Earth. And we should be good? Hopefully? What's gonna happen? There she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be alright. I just... Wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. 
Your mother would be so proud. Dad. Aw. She's done amazing. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. We're gonna get in the chopper. Sorry, I had to do it at least once. I'm so excited, though. open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Hopefully. Whoa. Dad, Gordon, oh no. Oh no. Uh, can I do anything about this? Is there anything I can do? Oh, Alex. Ooh, Alex. Eli. Don't. Oh, Eli. Dad, look out. No. Dad. Oh, no. Please don't let anything happen to him. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh, Eli! Oh, thank you, dog. Thank dog. <laughs> oh, Eli. be the end of the game. Are we sure that's the end of the game? Are we 100% sure that's the note we want to end on? Oh, that's so sad. That makes my heart sad. I can't believe that's how they ended it. Like, oh, my heart. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm legitimately upset because I was really looking forward to getting to know him better as a character and as a person, you know? Like, I was hoping that we would get to know him more if they ever released Half-Life 3 or, like, in Half-Life Alex. I haven't seen anything or heard anything about Half-Life Alex. Uh, I've tried my best not to spoil myself because I do want it to be a surprise when I play it, hopefully someday. Um, but I was hoping in Half-Life Alex there was going to be more opportunities to kind of see Eli and Alex, you know talk to each other and just show off more of their relationship with each other because that was like one of the best parts of this game was like or at least to me like one of the parts I enjoyed the most was seeing Eli and Alex hang out with each other and just show like how close they were so it really breaks my heart that he's dead and that poor Alex had to you know say goodbye in that way it's really upsetting maybe they'll have a post credit scene where he magically comes back to life crazier things have happened a girl can dream Maybe? No? No. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe that's how the series ends. That's so sad. And, like, now I really get it, you know? Like, I understood before why people wanted Half-Life 3 to come out, because, like, I was playing Half-Life 2, and I played through the first episode, and, like, you know, I hadn't even finished the series yet, and I was like, yeah, I can see why people would want more of this game. So now knowing how it all ends and how that's the note they ended on, that's really sad, and now I really want Half-Life 3 to come out. Like, come on! <laughs> you know? And, like, I knew this was gonna end on a cliffhanger. I thought we were gonna, like, get in the helicopter, fly away, and the helicopter was gonna get shot down, and that was gonna be the cliffhanger. You know, like, we weren't sure what happened to, uh, Freeman and Alex. But I, like, I kind of had a feeling they were gonna do something to Eli. I didn't think they were gonna kill him, but, like, he had that, like, really sweet moment with us where he was like, I'm really proud of you. And it's like, thanks, that's really sweet. Almost too sweet. Almost suspiciously sweet. Like, the kind of sweet that they use to make you, like, really bond with a character just so they can rip your heart out because they're gonna do something terrible to them. And that's what they did. I thought I was being pessimistic, maybe? But that's what happened, and I, I hate it. <laughs> 
But yeah, for better or for worse, that is the end of Half-Life 2, Episode 2. And that is also the end of the series, at least for now. Unless they ever come out with Half-Life 3, then you bet your ass I'm going to be playing that the millisecond it comes out. Um, or if I ever get a VR headset, I'll definitely play Half-Life Alex. I have no intentions of getting a VR headset anytime soon, so that's not going to happen for the foreseeable future. But maybe one day on the horizon we can play Half-Life Alex. I feel like that would be fun, you know? And yeah, just overall. It was a very fun series to do. I really enjoyed the game as a whole, and I enjoyed the series as a whole. Um, and it was interesting, you know, because I'd heard about Half-Life in the past, but I had never played it or seen it myself. Like, my brother used to talk about Half-Life, and he used to play all sorts of mods uh, for Half-Life. So, you know, I was kind of familiar with it, but I had no idea what it was about. So I'm really happy that I played Black Mesa on the channel, and then, you know, things kind of took off from there. A lot of people really enjoyed that series, and it was nice to get so much support on a series. So I'm really happy that I got to play the entire Half-Life series for the first time on the channel and kind of show my first impressions of it and my first reaction of it so it was a very fun series to do and i'm extremely grateful for all the support that i got throughout the series but moving on and moving forward there are a few games that i thought would be fun to do as a series now that half-life is over it's going to be weird not playing this um but i will uh show some of the games that i had in mind on the screen so you guys can see some games that i think might be fun series to do on the channel most of them I've never played before. I've played Uncharted before. Uh, I played Uncharted 1 and 2 and I started 3 but never finished it and I've seen 4. But the rest of the games I've never seen or played before. So if you think that would be fun, let me know. Or if you guys have any recommendations of games you would like to see on the channel as a series, let me know. But yeah, I guess that's it for Half-Life. So I do want to thank Val for all the games. They were a lot of fun and, you know, it was a lot of amazing content. It was a very fun journey. And I do want to thank the creators of Mmod. Uh, I highly recommend using Mmod if you play Half-Life 2 and the episodes. It made a huge difference. It made it feel more modern, you know, it was like a more modernized version of Half-Life 2, but it also didn't take away from the experience, you know, like it still felt like I was playing Half-Life 2 instead of like a completely different game. Because I did play some of Half-Life 2 without the Mmod, and I definitely feel like the additions that were made were, you know, beneficial, but they didn't actually detract from the experience, if that makes sense. Like I said, it, it still felt like it was Half-Life 2, just a more modernized version of it with a lot of new uh, options and capabilities available if you want to use them, and it's highly customizable. Uh, so if you guys are planning on playing Half-Life 2 or any of the episodes, I will leave a link in the description to the M mod uh, if you want to check it out for yourself. And yeah, that was a very fun series. Uh, so here's to looking forward to the next one, but that is going to do it for Half-Life. So I hope you guys enjoyed the series again, and of course I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!